In the late 15th century, when the Europeans came to America, not only did they bring weapons and religion, but they also brought infectious disease. One of these infectious diseases was smallpox, a disease we only have to worry about for a history test, not its symptoms of blindness, deafness, and sometimes death. In 1967, the World Health Organization, as recently as 1967, the World Health Organization stated that 15 million people contracted the disease. Two million people died from it. In 1979, the WHO declared it eradicated. How? Uh, a man by the name of Edward Jenner created a vaccine for smallpox in 1796. Now, do according to Dr. Susan Saul, a medical anthropologist here in Cal State LA, it takes about 15 years for a disease to be eliminated within a state. This makes sense since it took a, over 150 years for the vaccine to eradicate the disease worldwide, globally. However, the miracle cure is losing some of its benefits now that people are opting, starting to opt out of vaccinations, such as the case with Juliana Milkoff. In an article written by Amanda Mascarelli in 2008, the 15-month-old was rushed into the hospital with severe seizures and severe brain swelling, which prompted an emergency head operation. Although the doctors were able to save Juliana, it was at a cost. Now, Juliana's mom has to reteach her toddler how to walk, talk, and eat. This is because Juliana has an immunodeficiency that doesn't allow her to get the vaccine for the bacterial meningitis, known as Hib, that she, she contracted. This vaccine has been in existence since 1985. However, Many parents are starting to opt out of this vaccine as well, among others. Of the five cases in 2008, besides Juliana, there was a seven-month-old whose parents opted out of the hip vaccine. The baby wasn't so lucky. He didn't make it back home. Now, what we must do to tackle this pro these problems is first infect ourselves with the problem, inoculate ourselves with the causes, and immune ourselves with the solution. You see, According to Dr. Greenberger, a Musgrave Street medical practice, a doctor in Musgrave Street medical practice from Australia declared in June 2013 that parents opting out of children's vaccinations is the equivalent of putting the child on the freeway. Now the two myths that we must that are prevalent are the false belief that certain diseases have been eradicated and the fear of the side effects. My example will be of the measles. The measles are thought to believe to be part of a bygone era. Everyone used to get it, it's no big deal. However, I think it is a big deal. It can cause long-term brain damage and very commonly causes death within children. The thing is that according to Seth Nukin, the, the reason for parents refusing to vaccinate their children is irony. The fact that the vaccines are extremely effective and are eliminating many diseases within the state or country. However, they don't take into account that travelers bring back diseases from other countries and once they bring them in, outbreaks begin to occur. Without vaccinations, all people are threatening herd immunity. Now you've heard me mention it before, herd immunity. It is when enough people within a population have been vaccinated, and this means that this ha is only effective if 85 to 95 percent of people have been vaccinated. It protects children like Juliana Melkoff, elder, the elderly, the people who are too young to get vaccines, pregnant, or have immunodeficiency diseases like HIV. Now on to my second point. The CDC suggests that before the age of two, your child is going to have 25 vaccines scheduled. Now that's worrisome for our parent. We want to know that our children are going to be safe. However, a doctor by the name of Andrew Wakefield released a paper in 1998 where he stated that there was a link between an MMR vaccine, the mumps, measles, and rubella vaccine, 
and autism. How, he stated that it caused the vaccine caused a um, gastrointestinal inflammation, which released a protein into the blood and created autism on the, in the child. The thing, the flaw with his uh, study is that he did not test vaccinated versus non-vaccinated children. He only took into account the eight to twelve patients that came into his doctor's office. And the symptoms were the symptoms of gastrointestinal inflammation were observed after autism, not before. Since then, Dr. Wakefield has retracted his uh, paper and studies. The CDC has made its own studies of the MMR vaccine. Too many vaccines creating too many antibodies and the preservatives in the vaccine to see if it has any link. They have not found any links in over 25 studies that they've uh, conducted. The American Medical Association states that they have researched that autism is genetic as is proven because it can be, its symptoms can be seen in utero before a child is born. Uh, this is also supported by five other independent studies conducted in other states or countries, like Britain, where Dr. Wakefield is from. These studies are to correct a long-lasting damage that CNN Health states Dr. Wakefield created, uh, did to public health. Now on to my solutions to these problems. I believe that we can do rele to apply legislation to reinforce vaccinations and immunizations and the education of vaccinations. Parents are allowed to have a philosophical exemption uh, for the vaccinations. They're going to decide that they don't want to. And with the added effect of Dr. Wakefield's retracted paper, the fear of having um, autism or other side effects affecting their children is uh, scaring parents into opting out of vaccination. However, the research does indicate that not vaccinating, the, the consequences of not vaccinating your child outweighs uh, the benefits of opting out. Examples of places have practiced legislation and vaccination education, like in New Guinea, where legislation has healed, uh, allowed for less people to contract mad cow disease. And in Africa, where Dr. Saul has uh, practiced vaccination education, many parents are very attentive and very interested in getting their children vaccinated. So the point is, we must educate parents of the proven safety, remind them of the severity and existence of infectious diseases. And this will allow us to save children like Juliana Malkoff and begin to really eradicate diseases from the world. So if you agree that we should assist parents in realizing how important it is to vaccinate their children, take a shot and opt in.